morning everybody, my name is Mauricio Rios and today I want to invite you to come with me and save a life by donating blood. Okay. How many of you have ever saved a life? Okay. Now, the reason why I say that is because um, from every blood donation you have ever done, approximately you save up to three lives. That's a big, that's a big number, especially hence that we're allowed to donate at least three times a year, so that multiplies a lot throughout our life if we decide to donate at least three times a year. Times three lives that we say, that's a big number. And that itself is a rewarding thing to why you want to donate blood. Now donating blood, who does benefit from this? This is a, a small data gathered by the Red Cross Blood.org and this kind of shows how um, different people benefit from your blood donation. Um, the biggest percentage coming from cancer patients and blood disease patients. But that does not um, take away from everybody else because they're all just as equally important and you're helping them all just as equally. Now, by donating blood, it's mostly about helping people, right? But there is something in it for you also, and I'm about to emphasize on this. Okay. Thanks to American Journal of Epidemiology and American Psychology Association, we have this knowledge about donating blood. You may ask yourself, what's in it for me? You get a mini physical exam. They're going to take your pulse, your blood pressure. They're going to check you for any infectious diseases. And all of that, you're going to be aware of at the moment of your uh, blood donation. Another thing that it helps you with, it helps reduce cholesterol levels. And now, these last three ones are kind of biggest, so pay attention to them. Iron levels will stay within balance in your system. And that will help the viscosity in your blood not be as thick. And hence, that's why you see donors are 80% less likely to suffer from heart attack or stroke. And at the same time, by removing a pint of blood from your system, you remove all those old red blood cells and white blood cells from your body and it encourages your body to start creating new and fresh cells. And as you remove that bite, you could also have a chance of removing free radicals that could cause um, cancer in your, in your system. Now, thank you everybody, and I would like to close by showing you this. It's a story about a young girl named Carly. At seven years old, she was diagnosed with leukemia, and at 12 years of age, she relapsed. Ever since in that interval of her life, she had to go through chemotherapy and had to have at least 50 blood transfusions. And now, thanks to you guys for donating blood, she's able to be in front of you and smile. Thank you guys for your blood donations. And whenever you can, please donate blood. Yeah. Now, at this time, I would like to address any questions, whether it is how do I get ready to donate blood, or where can I go donate blood, or anything. And you said how often can you donate blood per year? You could, you could donate blood at least three times uh, a year. Uh, people that have like zero negative blood, mm -hmm. they're universal donors, so they can donate blood to all blood types, and the company, the blood donors will actually call you and tell you you can donate blood up to eight times, every, every eight weeks. Oh, because okay. they're universal donors, and you know, for emergency situations, like, Babies that are newborn, they don't have time to blood type you, so they use all negative on them, you know, because it's an emergency situation. Thank you for your question. Any, any others? No, Thank you. Uh, the plasma, I think. Did yes. You, you that even? Um, it's, it's interesting that you brought that in, because you know how I told you about O negative is universal donor? Well, AB negative is a universal donor of plasma, so they could also donate to every single blood type. And that's an also very interesting thing. I have a big negative blood type. Thank you, everybody. Have a happy Easter.